In this chapter, I will mask the entire A10 using our TCP 900 masking paper in preparation for painting the second camouflage color FS36270 medium gray, which is TCP 1208. This is for the three color gray flipper scheme. Since this 148th scale A10 Warthog is a fairly large model and the three color camouflage scheme is a wraparound, meaning it covers the entire aircraft, both upper and lower surfaces, there is a lot of masking to be applied. The first masking paper to apply is at the tail and the upper engine sections of the A-10. I drew the design first and then cut the masks and then applied them. Note, I used a sharp hobby knife to cut the design to match the design on the A-10 needed. Later on in this video, I will demonstrate how to apply our masking paper. I am continuing with the upper portion of the A-10 Warthog by masking the right wing. All the masking paper pieces were cut and already applied as you can see here. From this video forward, I will show how to apply our masking paper. Note that I have already stuffed small pieces of paper towels in the cockpit area and covered it with masking paper to protect that area from the two more colors that need to be sprayed on the aircraft. After cutting the masking paper to fit, I peel the backing paper off and put the adhesive side down on the model. You can remove and replace as needed to position it where you like. Then use a burnisher to press it down securely. I prefer a plastic burnisher so as not to damage the exposed paint already there. I am now masking the right and left side of the fuselage. According to our drawing, you will need to cut curves out of the masking paper. Apply as in previous video. Do the entire sides as required. As stated earlier, the three color gray flipper scheme is a wraparound scheme, so I am masking the underside near the front of the aircraft now. Note how easy the masking paper wraps around the fuselage bottom. The fuselage underside adjacent to the wings is next to me masked. Again, I use a plastic burnisher to secure it in place. Both the right and left undersides of the wings are masked next. Be sure to mask the open speed brakes as shown in the diagram. Observe that the insides of the speed brakes need to be covered in total.
The edges of the wings need to be masked next. Cut the pattern that is needed. Notice the curves required on the masking and that the masking paper easily conforms to the wing surface speed brake interface. Be sure to cover the areas that need protection such as the back side of the speed brake and the very edge of the wing. The plastic burnisher I use is my choice to firmly adhere our masking paper to the A10. Masking the bottom and the sides of the engines is the last portion of the model to do before painting the second camouflage color. So you can see all the masking I applied to the entire 810 Warthog, I am slowly moving the model under the camera for viewing. I start with showing the entire upper surface of the A10 from the nose to the tail and then both wings. Flipping the model over, I am now showing the masking paper placement on the underside of the A10. I am slowly moving the model from the tail to the nose and then both wings. The aircraft has been positioned on a stand purchased from Bulldog Models. Since there is no easy way to move the model to film the side, I decided to use the camera to pan from the tail to the nose on the right side of the model. I am repeating the procedure to film the left side of the model. The next step is to spray paint the model. TCP 1208 Federal Standard 36270 Medium Gray 
as the second camouflage color to spray paint onto the A10 body plus the fuel tank and a part that fits over the front wheel area in the fuselage. As with all other videos showing spray painting most of our colors, I am spraying the TCP1208 at 28 PSI using a Vega 2000 airbrush fitted with a 0.3 millimeter or medium tip. I am spraying this color from a one ounce stock bottle with op modification and fitted with a badger adapter. In the vast majority of models that require multiple colors that I build and paint, I will always apply colors from the lightest to the darkest. This is done so that the second, third, or additional colors will not change appreciably with the subsequent colors being applied. Turn and tilt the model to ensure complete coverage of the areas needed to be painted FS36270. Pay particular attention to the areas around the engine, inside of the tails, and the upper wing. Set aside to dry before painting the underside. Now the underside of the A10 is spray painted with the TCP1208 with the same procedure and technique as previously described. The second side of the fuel pod is also done at the same time. This completes the second camouflage color to be painted at the current time. Next chapter will show masking and painting for the third and final camo color. If you have any questions about techniques explored in this video or general questions about this build, please post your questions in the comments section below.